Hey guys, this is Upesh from Vivo.com and along with the new Reno 5 Pro 5G, Oppo has also launched the Oppo Enco X truly wireless noise cancelling earphones in India. And yeah, this is the new Oppo Enco X and I think these are quite exciting because they're set to bring great sound and powerful noise cancellation. So yeah, let's take a look at the new Oppo Enco X. So these are the new Enco X earbuds along with the case and I'll talk about the noise cancellation and everything but let's take things kind of gradually. First up, the design. I mean, if you take a look at the earbuds, you'll notice that it has a design that looks pretty good. It's got the silicon tips with the shorter stem and the earbuds design overall is nice too. Plus, like that these earbuds are light and comfortable at 4.8 grams each. I mean, ever since they arrived, I've been using them for long hours and they've been pretty comfortable to use. I think they fit really well. Also, I asked Akshay to do the head banging test and the earbuds did not fall off. So this is great for anyone who jogs or works out. Also, these earbuds come with three pairs of silicon tips and there's an earbud fit test in the Oppo's Hey Melody app so that you can choose the best fitting ear tips. Apart from that, these earbuds are IP54 rated for water and dust resistance, which is great. And these are touch sensitive stems, which I will talk about in a bit. As for the case, these look slightly different because they have this sort of a elliptical design along with a metal ring that gives it a nice look. There's also the Din Audio brand name because Oppo worked with the Danish premium speaker manufacturer to tune these earbuds. Anyway, there's also this pairing button and the USB-C port and this case supports wireless charging. Now going back to pairing the earbuds, it was pretty simple. I just popped up in the case and I got this prompt to pair the earbuds on the Oppo Reno5 Pro. Now this works only with Oppo phones but pairing it with other brand phones was pretty straightforward too using the you know, traditional Bluetooth way. Also on an Oppo phone, every time you open up the case, you get this prompt showing you the battery left in the earbuds as well as the case. To be honest, the design of the Oppo Enco X is definitely premium and nice. But I want to talk about the important factors now. So first up, very importantly, the sound quality, which I think is great, but let's talk about the specs first. So the Oppo Enco X have Oppo's new DBEE 3.0 sound system, which comes with a dual coaxial driver design that includes an 11 mm dynamic driver for middle and low frequencies and a 6 mm balanced membrane driver for high frequencies. So the specs are good, but it's the sound quality that actually matters. And I've been using these earbuds for a while now, and I think the sound experience is pretty good. See, I think these earbuds get really loud and the bass is thumping, which is really good. And I like that I can listen to music on full volume and there's no sound leakage here. So people around me have no idea what I'm listening to. Apart from that, the sound stage is wide enough and instrument separation, while not anything extraordinary, it's decent. There's one thing, I did feel the treble gets a little too sharp at times at high volumes. But I think it's not a big deal and overall, like I said, the sound quality is pretty good. Apart from that, when it comes to Codex, there's support for SBC, AAC, but more importantly, there's support for LHDC. Now, for people who don't know, LHDC is an audio codec that supports high resolution audio streaming via Bluetooth. To give you a better idea, it has a higher bitrate wireless transmission when compared to other codecs. LHDC allows a bitrate of up to 960 kbps compared to SBC's 345 kbps. Now, the higher bitrate transmission means it can push more audio details, more realistic high quality audio and also have lower latency. See, right now only a handful of phones like the Oppo Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro and only a few streaming apps like say Tidal support this, but Oppo has confirmed that more phone models will be updated to support this in the coming time. Moving on, I want to talk about the features of the Oppo Enco X and with the highlight being the very powerful noise cancellation. See, I have used earbuds with ANC before, like say the Galaxy Buds Live, and I thought ANC on that earbud was kind of average, but on these, it's very, very good. First up, each earbud has three integrated mics and wind detection tech for ANC as well as noise cancellation during calls. And enabling noise cancellation is pretty simple. You just touch and hold for a second to switch between the different modes. I've set it to switch between the transparency mode and max noise cancellation, but yeah, you can choose. Now the transparency mode is pretty self-explanatory and in this I was able to listen to people with the earbuds on. Next there's noise cancellation mode which works pretty well in places like offices or at home when you don't want to listen to people. Then there's the max noise cancellation mode which is absolutely fantastic. I mean when you turn it on there's just nothing, it just blocks everything and it's pretty cool. I think this is a mode that you'll find handy in say crowded or noisy areas like the airport or a railway station. I tried it out on a noisy street corner and it just blocked everything. I think you really have to try it out to experience this, but it's really good. As for calls, the earbuds did cut wind noise or mild noise in the surroundings, which is very good. But I think the mic quality could have been a little better when it comes to audio recording or, you know, in heavy noise call situations. Apart from the noise cancellation, there's wear detection, which is a little slow at times, but works. So that's fine. 
There also are different touch controls. There's double tap to control music playback, triple tap to activate Google Assistant, slide control to adjust volume, which I really love. There's also touch and hold gesture for different noise cancellation modes, which I showed you earlier. And there's the long touch and hold to switch between different devices. So there are a lot of touch controls and I think they work fine. Moving on to the battery, each of these earbuds have a 44mAh battery and there's 535mAh battery on the case. Now the earbuds are set to last 4 hours of continuous playback with max noise cancellation turned on all the time and 5.5 and hours with ANC turned off. With the case, you can expect the earbuds to last 20 to 25 hours depending on how you use ANC. Well, in my usage with ANC turned on all the time, I got close to 4 hours, which I think is right. Coming to the pricing now, the Oppo Enco X is priced at rupees 10,000 and at that price, I think these are pretty good, truly wireless earbuds with noise cancellation. I mean, the earbuds have a very premium design, the sound experience is pretty good, the battery life is decent and the noise cancellation is actually very, very powerful. Plus, there's support for things like LHDC and there are all the features you expect like touch controls and wear detection. So all in all, the Oppo Enco XR earbuds you can check out if you're looking for a good TWS with ANC. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think of the new Oppo Enco X, so tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. And lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.